Hello again. Here we are for square three. And square three is the sheep square. Uh, I'm making this one the 91 again with the brown and white yarn as um, I want my blanket in these two uh, colors. Um, but Juliana used multiple colors in one uh, square. I will show you that in pictures in this video as well, because I think that's a really nice effect uh, to make the sheep in this Tunisian in a round uh, technique. Uh, I only use my two colors and because sheep are normally white, I'll change uh, my color setup. So I start with the brown one instead of the white one, what I did uh, before. Um, so we start with the magic ring in the brown color for round one. And uh, when you uh, don't know how to do this or are just a bit insecure, please check one of my other videos because all my startups are very slow there. The moose one is really slow start and there's also a video about, um, uh, well, just a slow start of a hexagon or a square. So when this is the first time you're doing this or you, you didn't do it very much, please check one of these, the other videos. And with starting the magic ring, we've already made the first stitch and we need eight. So we make seven additional stitches in the magic ring, a magic loop. Or six and seven and by this one, two three four five six seven one more <laughs> i counted the first one with it so we need eight stitches uh to in total in the magic ring and then we turn our work so we put it at the other side of the hook turn it then we grab our white yarn make a little loop and only the first stitch is get it through one loop grab the yarn and after this through two loops a white one and a brown one just as far as you have two brown loops and one white loop at your hook and that is the finish of round one round two for round two we turn our work again for the front part <coughs> i'm sorry and we close the magic loop like this and i will insert that you can or zoom in a little bit so you can see it even better. The first few rounds it works best when you uh, put the tails on top. So just like this. So you have the, the working yarn here, tails there and the white yarn at uh, the bottom part. And then round two is two knit stitches and one full stitch. Uh, so we grab our first loop to make a knit stitch and then insert our stitch marker to remind the start of each round because we have to do four times the two knit stitches in the full stitch. So this was the first knit stitch, the second knit stitch and the full stitch just in the middle. So this is one side of four. We turn our work again, put everything down as you can see and grab the white yarn. It works best when you um, take each side, so four times for the square, uh, then the loops won't be too big. You see that this one is a little big, it will be okay, but when you take two sides um, and then do the back uh, uh, part, the loops will be too big and well in the end it doesn't show up very well and the first few rounds actually are very important to um, 
because you see them uh, in a good way. So when you make your loops too big, it isn't very even. And well, we just try to make it as, as neat as possible, don't we? So this is one side. We turn our back, uh, our work to the other side again. And this is one side of row two. I will do the three other ones and I'll be back in row three. Row three. In row three, we start with the, the first corner stitches. So we get our stitch marker out. And see, this is our first stitch. And we need to make two corner stitches. So we grab the yarn from the other side to make the first corner stitch. And then we insert the first few rounds. I insert the stitch marker in the first stitch. And after that, you will see that I will uh, put it in the work so that you don't have to get the stitch marker out every, every time. The second stitch is here when you make it a bit bigger you see that your hook needs to be here for the second corner stitch and when we've done the first few corner stitches there's just one reverse stitch and we take the back loop of this stitch for that and then the two corner stitches in the next stitch and this is the first side of round three. We put our work to the other side, twist it, remind that the stitch marker is this side and all the tails and yarn at the, um, the down part and the working yarn in your hand. And we do the back like this. Just grab the yarn <coughs> and get it through two loops until you have two dark loops and one white loop left. So this is one side. I will continue with the other three and I'll be back with you for round four. And we're back in row four. In row four, we have a bit the same as in row three. Just start with the two corner stitches and my washing machine is ready i'm not sure if you hear it but it plays a whole song when it's done two corner stitches to start with and then we do three reverse stitches one two and three <laughs> mini hears Mini, our little Pomeranian dog, she hears the washing machine as well. Uh, two corner stitches uh, to close the row four. Again, so two corner stitches, three reverse stitches and two corner stitches. And again, when I'm doing this too quick, please watch the start of the moose uh, video or uh, the slow start video. You can see the stitches there in a very slow way so that you can practice them. The back sides like this, and we're done with row four. No, not done, one side of row four. So I will do the other three, and then I'll be back in row five. Row five, I've replaced the stitch marker. At the front so we don't uh, have to take it out every uh, row we can just transfer it every now and then so we start with the two corner stitches again and in this row we make five reverse stitches one two three four five when you want to see, and two uh, corner stitches, I'm sorry. When you want to check the chart, you can um, uh, see the chart uh, to buy it at Ravelry. It's um, just a few euros. And there are uh, some other sizes of squares available in that um, 
pattern as well. So when this is not enough for you, you can uh, check uh, my account at Ravelry. Uh, this is one side of row five, corner stitches, five reverse stitches and corner stitches. That's all. And from now on, I won't show you the reverse uh, part because that's every time the same. So please continue the other three sides and I'll be back in row six. And round six. <clears throat> round six, of course, two corner stitches. And after this, a little change, we make three reverse stitches. One knit stitch, three reverse stitches. And the corner stitches. So round six is the corner stitches, three uh, reverse stitches, one knit stitch, three reverse stitch, three reverse stitches and the two corner stitches. So this is it. Row seven. The first few rounds are really quick as the sides are not too long so you are quickly finished with uh, one side but as the rows get longer well it will more, take more time to uh, to finish one complete round but we like what we're doing don't we uh, well in this round you see in the chart uh, a c2 and an r2 so the corner stitches are a little bit different uh, it is uh, not the normal two corner stitches but a different one i've videoed that one in another a YouTube video as well, but I will show you it here. Uh, I will show you here uh, how this these stitches work, uh, and I tell you shortly why I do it. Uh, you start with the normal first corner stitch, so the twisted one, and then after that you should do the twisted knit stitch. But I prefer not to do it and uh, make a reverse an extra reverse stitch here. And to do that, as you have no loop uh, to take here, just grab a loop below like this one. Like this. And you see immediately why I do it. Now the white uh, yarn pops up because it's a reverse stitch. When I do the normal stitch the white yarn is at the back but when I do that extra reverse one like this the white yarn is at the front and for the uh, this pattern it looks more beautiful when you make this uh, a reverse stitch so that's why I do it so these are the first few corner stitches after that we need a knit stitch so in the first stitch now we make a knit stitch and you see the nice reverse stitch here uh, after the knit stitch two reverse stitches after that I'll grab some yarn three knit stitches and then two reverse stitches one knit stitch and then we are at the corner stitches again and uh, at the corner stitches at the end of uh, one side it's uh, more easy because normally we will we would uh, make a, a knit stitch and a full stitch but now instead of the knit stitch we make a reverse stitch but now we do have a loop here so we just grab the loop to see we've made a reverse stitch and then after that not the full stitch but the simple stitch and you see that there is a nice white reverse stitch visible now in this uh, side so this side come a little bit different a uh, little bit different corner stitches with a r2 and r1 stitch in it but i think it's um, you can see how i was doing it so that it's clear for you I do the back uh, uh, reverse side and the other three sides and I'll be back with you in row 8. Row 8. 
in row 8 we have the normal corner stitches so the reversed simple stitch and the reversed knit stitch in row 8 we start with after the corner stitches a reverse stitch and we make the reverse stitch in the R2 stitch we've made before this one so the extra reverse stitch and then a knit stitch and now you can see why I did that stitch in the last in row 7 because of this okay we continue in row 8 with three reverse stitches one knit stitch three reverse stitches one knit stitch one reverse stitch and the two corner stitches to close the row row eight so here we are in row nine row nine i zoom in i have some nail damage i will fix it in the afternoon so for the video it's not very nice now but well you are watching the crochet work and not my nails aren't you <laughs> but you see it's when i mean you're busy and then i think oh well my nails but the corner stitches are done so for this row now uh, we start with um do it again we start with a corner stitch and then after that a reversed corner stitch so that was the one in the back to make an extra reverse loop here i'm sorry i was so enthusiastic to to start that i started wrong so the next stitch is a knit stitch and then after that we continue with two four six eight eleven reverse stitches so this is a very simple row just two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven so eleven reverse stitches then again one knit stitch and then for the other corner stitch it was the easy one the air one the r one just make the reverse stitch in the back of the last stitch and then a simple stitch in front to show up this reverse stitches over there and this is uh, one side of row uh, nine so do the back side and then uh, the other parts and then i'll be back with you in row 10. row 10 and in row 10 we continue with the corner stitches and the extra or corner stitch just one and the extra reverse stitch so we do that again one corner stitch and then the stitch in the back uh, after that we continue with another reverse stitch and it's a bit hidden because you have made a reverse stitch here and that makes that it's uh, that that the loop is a bit all, a little smaller so we grab it from the back and then one knit stitch after that two reverse stitches one knit stitch and then five reverse stitches one two three four and five one knit stitch two reverse stitches one knit stitch one reverse stitch and then we are at the corner stitch stitched what a word is that uh, one reverse stitch we do in that one and one uh, simple stitch in the front one so this is row 10 row 11 row 11 starts with the two normal corner stitches so just the reversed simple and the reversed knit stitch after that we start with four reverse stitches and 
for the first you have to check very carefully that you take the first loop otherwise you skip stitch and then when you're in the end you miss stitches and then you know you did something wrong four reverse stitches three knit stitches one reverse one knit and this is the middle stitch so we go in the repeat now one reverse three knit stitches and four reverse stitches two three and four and then the corner stitch and that is a knit stitch and a simple stitch so the normal uh, corner stitches in the end as well so this is row what was it 11 row 12 we have finished row 11 and up to row 12 and row 12 we start with the two normal corner stitches i have to check but i think there are no r stitches in this pattern anymore uh, one uh, and two knit stitches yes two knit stitches two reverse it's a very simple row this one and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven uh, knit stitches so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven two reverse stitches two knit stitches and the corner stitches like this i will zoom out so that you can see what I like of uh, these stitches, um, well, there come uh, sheep in this uh, pattern and this looks really woolly, doesn't it? With the, the little bulbs uh, in it. It is not, um, or it is uh, with a reason that uh, I did uh, the sheep chart in June. Because in Norway in June, um, there are lots of sheep. Uh, who stayed in the winter in the sheds at the farmer places and uh, when it's June they had uh, all come out so the farmers travel with a large uh, cars and um, uh, the sheep in it and they drop them in the mountain and all summer all the sheep can walk free uh, in the mountains they all wear bells and uh, as you probably know, we uh, uh, travel through Norway with a camper. And when you sleep at night, you hear all the sheep um, uh, walking around, eating grass with the bells uh, on their neck. And sometimes when you wake up and look outside, there's a whole bunch of sheep around your camper. It's really nice. It's uh, well, it feels very natural to be there. And well, while the sheep uh, uh, get their freedom in June, I thought it's nice to release the sheep pattern in June. So that's why. Uh, I see you back in row 12. We have finished row 12 and we're up to row 13. And 13 is a row with, well, almost only knit stitches. So these are the two corner stitches. And then we start with six knit stitches. One, Two, I replaced the stitch marker a little bit further up. Three, four, five, and six. Let's see if I count it right. These are the corner stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, that's correct. One reverse stitch. After, oh, I did it. I missed a little of the stitch. Yes, one reverse stitch. After that, seven knit stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. After that, one reverse stitch again. Six knit stitches after that. Two, three, four, five, and 
six and then the two corner stitches so this is one side of a row 13 row 14 in row 14 we start with the sheep feet or legs whatever two corner stitches and after that one knit stitch one reverse stitch and then eight knit stitches three four five six seven and eight before we start with the two legs one reverse stitch one knit stitch one reverse stitch and one knit stitch so what uh, Juliana de uh, did uh, she started here with uh, black um, <clears throat> she she uh, takes the black yarn all the way uh, in the round to make the the legs and the faces of the sheep in another color uh, you can see it at my Ravelry uh, pattern and at the pictures at social media and at the Facebook group. Um, it really looks very nice. I didn't try it, but it, uh, the, how it uh, looks like in the end, it's it's beautiful. Okay. Uh, I repeat it with eight knit stitches again after the, the leg reverse stitches. Then one reverse stitch. I did nine, I guess. Uh, the two reverse stitches uh, from the legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight reverse stitches. One, one reverse stitch after the eight knit stitches. I'm sorry, not eight knit uh, reverse stitches, but eight knit stitches. One reverse, one knit, and then the corner stitches to close the row. So here it is row 14 row 15 row 15 with two corner stitches one reverse stitch one knit stitch one reverse stitch and eight knit stitches again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then the reverse knit and reverse stitch. Eight knit stitches again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One reverse, one knit, and one reverse. And then we close the side with the two corner stitches. So this is uh, row four, 15. I forgot to start the video, so I will start it now. This is row 16. And row 16 started with two corner stitches. And after the two corner stitches, five reverse stitches. I, I just made a photo and well, then you can't see what I'm doing, can you? So five reverse stitches. And after the five reverse stitches, we continue with six knit stitches. Three four five and six after that five reverse stitches again two oh oops three four and five we are making the sheep again then six knit stitches two three four five and six and then five reverse stitches
and the two corner stitches. That is one side of row 16. Good luck! And we continue in row 17 with two corner stitches and after that three reverse stitches. One, two and three. One knit stitch and three reverse stitches. Four knit stitches and four, three reverse, one knit and three reverse. Four knit stitches. Three reverse stitches. One knit stitch. Three reverse. And the two corner stitches. To close the row again. Zoom out so that you can see what it's look li looking like, like this. Row 18. Row 18. Two corner stitches. And then four reverse stitches. After those four stitches, one knit stitch and four reverse stitches again. Hello sheep. Two knit stitches and then four reverse stitches again. One knit stitch and four reverse. After this, we need two knit stitches and again four reverse, one knit stitch, four reverse, and we have arrived at the last two corner stitches. So this is row 18. Row 19. Row 19. Two corner stitches. And then start with one knit stitch. Three reverse. And three knit. And continue with three reverse. Like this. Then two knit stitches. And then we continue in the next sheep with three reverse, three knit. And a three reverse. I have to grab some yarn. And then again, two knit stitches and three reverse, three knit and a three reverse. And to close the row, one knit stitch and two corner stitches. 
and here it is it's nice to show it now it's still possible <laughs> here it is row 20 we're going faster every square i think and maybe you have that at home too and you get used to the stitches it's getting quicker and quicker and well, the fun is the same two corner stitches and two end knit stitches to start with and this pattern is easy to see as you are making the sheep so and now we have a whole row of reverse stitches and i have to count them eight 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 five six nine reverse stitches and that is correct with the chart yes and after the nine reverse stitches we have two knit stitches and after that nine reverse again quite easy isn't it five six seven Square three is a little bit, is more easy than the other two, but well, as I explained before, I, I've chosen June, especially for this one. Uh, two, knitted, two knit stitches and then again nine reverse. And then we are already at the end of the row to knit and the corner stitches and this is row what was it row 20 we continue in row 21 we're almost halfway up already uh, so two stitches for the corner stitches and then in this row we start with four knit stitches like this and then seven reverse one two three four five six and seven four knit stitches in between And then seven reverse stitches again. Okay. Every now and then I check if I am still in the right place, but I am. So the last stitch on top of the sheep is a knit, then two in between and one stitch on top of the next sheep and so, so you can check if you are still doing it right and again seven reverse stitches and one two three and four knit stitches and close the row with two corner stitches. That's it, row 21. A new day and we are ready for row 22. And you can see a new day because I've done my nails and they are very neat again. <laughs> you don't mind really, you only mind the, the crochet, I'm sure, but well, I'm happy I did them again. Uh, row 22 starts with one corner stitch. And then again the R2 stitch. So that is the extra reverse stitch. So just pull up a loop at the back part. So that the reverse stitch will appear. And then after this stitch we need five knit stitches. So one... You see I replaced the stitch marker, two, three, 
four and five reverse stitches ah now i see what i did wrong get it out the corner stitches the extra reverse stitch and after that we need one more reverse stitch you see why it's good to check what you're doing then you see that you are doing it wrong so corner stitch reverse stitch r2 reverse stitch and then the five knit stitches two three four and five and the fifth is just on top of the sheep and then after that five reverse stitches one two three four and five and then six knit stitches the rain is really pouring out of the sky here so the the back door is open and we have um how do you say that something you can sit under but it's uh plastic or whatever and the sound of it on that roof that is in insane when it's raining uh hard well you hear it very loud uh, i did the six knit stitches by this and now five reverse stitches again five so typical dutch weather sip six knit stitches our son was here uh, visiting us uh, from oslo and in oslo it's now 24 degrees and here it's about 17 and uh, sometimes i think that's so strange that well the norther you go you would say that the, the temperature is uh, lower but well very often that's not the case that he has very much nicer weather than it is in uh, in holland really strange okay after the six niche stitches five reset reverse stitches again it's so logical that i don't even tell you and then five rever uh knit stitches one two three four five and then the last stitch is a reverse stitch again and then the r1 stitch that means instead of a corner stitch a reverse stitch and in the same stitch the simple stitch so that there is a an extra reverse stitch at the front this is row uh, 22 row 23 and row 23 isn't very inspiring as we start with one corner stitch and one extra reverse stitch again one reverse stitch and then just knit stitches all the way to the end or the last stitch is a reverse and then the last stitch is a reverse stitch again so just knit stitches on top of the sheep so it will pop up and now you see very good why i changed the colors in this uh, square because well i like the white sheep more than brown sheep uh, and juliana mentions that this uh, chart for me uh, is named sheep in the mud well <laughs> for me it's okay so this is my sheep in the mud square white sheep in brown mud i will mention the yarn again in the instructions but this is the winter glow the hobby winter glow and well i love this yarn very much you see some little color pieces in it okra red it's a very beautiful color and the yarn works like a dream but well you you have to uh it's it's wool so some people can't have wool but i have no problem with that and i think the blanket will be very nice and warm when it's done so we continue to the last or the second last stitch almost there and as this is row 23 it's official officially halfway up as it's 45 rows this 
this one. Oh, look what I did. Yes, I did this good. Okay, like this. So this is the last, the former last stitch, your reverse one. And in the corner stitch, I will make one reverse stitch and one normal corner stitch, which is, which is the simple stitch. So this will nicely pop out. Okay, here is our little sheep. And we continue with the other three sides in the back uh, part. And then I'll be back in row 24. Row 24. And row 24 has a lot of row 23. As you can see in a minute. So we start with uh, two corner stitches. So no reverse stitches here. Just the normal corner stitches. And then two reverse stitches instead of one in the last row. So two reverse stitches. And after this, only knit stitches. Just till the last two stitches, which are obviously, again, two reverse stitches. So we continue going like this. And then the rows are getting longer and longer, but well, when you like what you're doing, it doesn't really matter, does it? I look forward to seeing the yarns you use for this project as the size uh, makes uh, the size of the yarn, DK or fingering yarn, also makes the size of the squares, of course. And my squares with this hobby yarn are rather large, just over 50 centimeters. So the blanket with nine squares, only nine squares, will be quite large. Okie dokie, we're almost at the end. I did one too many. Uh, we have to stop just before the reverse stitch in the former row, that's a good sign that you are uh, finished with your uh, knit stitches because then you can do the last two reverse stitches and then the normal corner stitches. So that is just a knit stitch and a simple stitch for the normal corner stitch. Okay, this is it, row 24, one side of it, and I'll continue and then you see me back in row 25. And here we are in row 25. In row 25, the R stitches are back. So we start with one normal uh, corner stitch and then the R to the extra reverse stitch. And after this R2, we make one knit stitch and then two reverse stitches again. So this is the start of row 25. After this, uh, four knit stitches and start after all the reverse uh, stitches. So right here, one, two, three and four. And then we have some sheep legs, one reverse, one knit, one reverse. After this, two knit stitches, and again, reverse, knit, reverse. These are the legs of sheep number one. In between, we have one, two, three, four, six reversed uh, knit stitches, and I already made the first two, three, four, five, and six. And then one reverse, one knit, and one reverse. This was the middle, so we are in the repeat with six knit stitches. And then we are again at the sheep leg. 
one reverse, one knit, one reverse. After this, two knit stitches and reverse, knit, reverse. After this, four knit stitches. And then we are at the back, at the last part of the row with two reverse stitches, one knit stitch, and the corner stitch is the R1, so that is a reverse, an extra reverse stitch, and a simple stitch to show an extra reverse stitch right there. So this is what it's look like what it's looking like after row 25. So we continue and you see me back. Row 26. And row 26 start with two normal corner stitches. So just the C2 and the C2 out of the chart. Okay, we have those made and then we start with a reverse stitch. A knit stitch and a reverse stitch. After this, five knit stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Then we see what we're doing as we are building the legs of the sheep. So it's reverse, knit, reverse, two knit stitches, reverse, knit, and reverse. After this, the six knit stitches in between. And again, reverse, knit, and reverse six knit stitches uh, we are in the repeat now of the second half of the side of row 26 and then the legs again repeat reverse knit reverse two knit stitches and reverse knit reverse when you've done the curly one as well you will notice that this one is really really very simple three four and five knit stitches here and then reverse knit and reverse and two normal corner stitches like this we are building a kind of a leaf at the side you will it will show up in a while this is one side of row 26 so please continue and i'll be back in row 27. row 27 and in row 27 we have again some reverse stitches but the start oh i forgot see what happened here this was there were the corner stitches at the finish of the row of the last row so we start with one corner stitch and the extra reverse stitch so not just normal corner stitches one c2 and one r2 and then after that one knit stitch and after the knit stitch, three reverse stitches. That is the start of the row. After that, five knit stitches. One, two, two, three, four, and five. And then all reverse stitches to make and to build the sheep so just reverse stitches on top of the legs just till the end i'll show you like this and that are eight reverse stitches one two three four five six seven eight after that five knit stitches two three four 
3, 4, and 5. And after that, 5 reverse stitches. And again, 5 knit stitches. And then we are at the first leg of the sheep. So eight reverse stitches, eight reverse stitches, and then five knit stitches, three reverse. one knit and then the special extra reverse stitch in the corner stitch so that is one reverse and one simple stitch to finish the row so this is one side of row 27 we continue in row 28 28 and we start row 28 with two normal corner stitches one and two after this one reverse stitch and one knit stitch and two reverse stitches five knit stitches And then for nine reverse stitches and you start just one before the other reverse stitches so that in the last tour there were eight and now they are there are nine like this after this four knit stitches and then three reverse right in the center a knit stitch and then the repeat three reverse four knit nine reverse Just grab some yarn every now and then. Nine reverse, one, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so that your last stitch is one further than the last stitch of last row. And then five knit stitches, one, two, three, four, and five, two reverse, one knit, one reverse and the corner stitches to close the row and that's it row 20 what was it 28 and we continue in row 29 okay we move up the stitch marker again a few stitches like this and we start with one a normal corner stitch so the twisted simple and after that the R2 so the extra reverse stitch <coughs> and then one knit stitch after that the reverse one knit and two reverse stitches it's starting to look like a leaf a little bit doesn't it then five knit stitches one two three four 
five, seven reverse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one knit stitch, and two reverse. Two knit stitches and then we are at the center sheep and it needs four reverse stitches one two three and four one knit stitch and then the repeat for the repeat of the second half four reverse stitches Two knit, two reverse, one knit, seven reverse, seven, and then when it's right, we are at the last reverse stitch of the sheep, and it's correct. So we are still at a good, <clears throat> at the, in the good way, or we are at the right stitch, whatever. <laughs> Five knit stitches, I'm sorry. <sighs> I had to sneeze, but it didn't come. Two reverse stitches. One knit stitch, one reverse. One knit and then the extra reverse stitch of the corner and the last corner stitch. So this is it. Row 29. Row 30. <coughs> okay, row 30. Two normal corner stitches in this row. Okay, two normal corner stitches, and we start with a reverse stitch. And oh, I'm out of sight, I'm sorry. Two corner stitches, one reverse stitch, and after that, a knit stitch. Again, a reverse, again, a knit, and one reverse like this then five knit stitches sometimes you have to check if you go in the right loop this was the right one four and five and then one two three eight reverse stitches Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Well, the sound you hear is uh, rather uh, a summer sound because there's a bee flying here. And I like bees in trees and outside and in flowers, but not here. So I hope it will go away in a while. Uh, two reverse stitches after the one knit stitch and then two knit stitches then three reverse three knit stitches and three reverse and we are over halfway up so in the repeat again what means two knit stitches, two reverse stitches, one knit stitch, eight reverse stitches, <laughs> even, even Minnie is out of her uh, Baskets, is that basket a dog basket for the place where she is sleeping? 
she's uh, annoyed of the of the bee one two three four five knit stitches what is that mini what is that is that a, a bee? <laughs> she's looking like what the heck what is this it's nice to be a puppy isn't it all those things are new and you see things for the very first time uh, five knit stitches one reverse stitch and one knit stitch one reverse stitch one knit stitch one reverse stitch and two corner stitches like this okay this is row 30 i'll be back in row 31 row 31 lost a stitch in row 31 the r2 stitch and r1 stitches are back so we start with a corner stitch and then the extra reverse stitch like this and then one knit stitch it is obvious in the this leaf pattern what you have to do one reverse stitch and one knit stitch and then after this three reverse stitches and then six knit stitches one two three four five and six this is the tail of the sheep six reverse stitches one two three four five and six the little face three knit stitches and one reverse two knit stitches to go to the next sheep and that is nine reverse stitches all the way to the end seven eight and nine yes i'm at the end then two knit stitches again one reverse three knit six reverse six knit stitches one two three four and then three reverse one knit one reverse one knit the extra corner reverse and a corner stitch okie dokie this is row 31 row 32 and row 32 starts again with a normal corner stitch and the extra reverse stitch Okay, then another reverse stitch, a knit stitch, a reverse stitch, a knit stitch, and three reverse stitches. then after that seven knit stitches one two three four five six and seven and after those seven stitches four i have to count 
nine and be first stitches one two three four five six seven eight and nine three mid stitches and seven reverse stitches one two three four five and six seven three knit stitches again and then again the nine reverse one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Seven knit stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Three reverse. Three reverse, a one knit, one reverse, the coffee machine is cleaning, one knit stitch, one reverse stitch, an extra reverse stitch, and the corner stitch. Okay, like this. My whole needle is full. Let's see what I can show you. I can't show you the whole piece, but it's quite a long, a long way now in row 32. So this is uh, one side. I'll be back with you in row 33. Row 33. And I changed my hook with a, a little bit longer cord in between. Because... When the cord is too short, you lose some stitches now and then, and you have to be careful. So I thought I'd make a longer cord, and then it's much easier. Uh, the corner stitches in row 33 uh, are just the normal corner stitches. So like this. Uh, and after the corner stitches, we continue with two reverse stitches. One knit stitch and four reverse stitches okay and after this we have a very long row with knit stitches and i have to count them 13. that's one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Then we have three reverse stitches. Knit stitches again. Three reverse. And the thirteen knit stitches again. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. 
then four reverse stitches one knit stitch two reverse stitches and just the normal corner stitches for the ends of the row so we are done with uh, one side of row 32 uh, 33 i'm sorry uh, i'll be back in row 34 and row 34 look at this i really love this row 34 is a very easy one as you will see we start with the two corner stitches to finish the leaf two knit stitches and then five reverse stitches one two three four and five and that's the only thing happening in this row as all the rest of the stitches are knit stitches until in the end we do the same part so continue with knit stitches and that is maybe a bit boring to look at so i'll stop the video and be back later so all knit stitches just uh, almost to the end um, when you see the four reverse stitches of last uh, row uh, we make a knit stitch on top of the last one and then we continue with four reverse stitches uh, five i'm sorry five reverse stitches and then two knit stitches two knit stitches and the corner stitch so when you think it's hard to count where to start just look at the reverse stitches of the previous tour put in a knit stitch on top of the first one and then after that the five reverse stitches and the two knit stitches or you count seven stitches back and start with the five reverse stitches whatever you find the most easy uh, way this is one side of row 32 i continue and you'll see us uh, us you see me back uh, at row 35 okay row 35 and row 35 isn't very special again so we start with the two corner stitches like this uh, and then after that five knit stitches one two three four and five and after the five knit stitches two reverse and those two reverse stitches are the only two reverse stitches in this whole row 35 so after this all knit stitches to the end of this row and then when we are just in the middle of the oh not in the middle uh, because it's uh, it's two when we have one of these le uh, done at the other side two reverse stitches and then all knit stitches again so we continue with the knit stitches and i still show you at the end of this row uh, the two re okay we have arrived at the last part of this row, row 35 you see the reverse stitch of the last row so we make a knit stitch on top of the first then two reverse stitches hello mini <laughs> and then after that five knit stitches till the end of the row two one two three four five and then the corner stitches like this so this is row 35 row 36 in row 36 we start with the first stitches of the the border uh, the border of this uh, square so the last part so we start with the two corner stitches and then we make three knit stitches and after those three we have one reverse stitch and that is the first stitch 
that bore the parts. And in between the reverse stitches there are nine uh, knit stitches. So one reverse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then again one reverse stitch. And that's the repeat so we do it again nine knit stitches one i'm sorry two three four five six seven eight and nine one reverse I almost lost the stitch, one reverse, and then one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and one reverse, and this reverse stitch is just in the middle, so we know we are we are doing it right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And again, one reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine one reverse one two three four five six seven eight and nine one reverse and when we have done it right there are three knit stitches left before the corner stitches so this is one two three and yes the corner stitch to close the row so it's important in this row 36 that you count the nine stitches in between uh, so that you're sure these reverse stitches are in the right place because otherwise in the the rows after this you have a problem so this is the counting row and after this it is easy to continue so this is one side of row 36 you see me back in row 37 Okay, we finished row 36 and this is row 37. Working to the end of this square, I've replaced the stitch marker again and we start with the two corner stitches. And after this we make three knit stitches again. Then we continue with one reverse, one knit and one reverse, three knit, one, two, three, and one reverse, again three knit, and then we start with the same repeat reverse knit, reverse, three knit stitches, one reverse, and three knit stitches. One, two, three, one reverse, three knit stitches. I thought I was wrong, but I, I am not, because this is the reverse stitch, the knit stitch, and the reverse stitch, and again three knit stitches, reverse, three knit stitches. How much squares you have made, it doesn't matter, sometimes you 
still have to look very careful where to insert your hook and especially after you've done a reverse uh, stitch because well um, when you uh, insert here you have two stitches in in one so please look carefully where you have to insert your hook and well when you when you are wrong keep on counting and you will notice in the end that there was something wrong so we continue with the repeats a reverse stitch three knit stitches and then again reverse knit reverse and again three knit stitches a reverse stitch three knit stitches and reverse knit reverse three knit stitches one reverse stitch three knit stitches and again reverse knit and reverse and three knit stitches and then we are at the end of the row, so we close the row with the two corner stitches. Row 38. The corner stitches. You hear the needle ticking, so I try to fix that. Uh, three knit stitches one two and three and a reverse stitch three knit stitches oh, let's see yes three one two three and a reverse stitch after this five knit stitches one two three four and five reverse and three knit reverse and after this five knit stitches so this is the repeat three the third on top of this one four and take care you put the needle in the loop and not, not next to the loop but just right in because in between we have a, a full stitch and this is the knit stitch reverse one two three and reverse and then five again, one, two, three, four, and five, reverse, reverse, I'll do this one again because like this, reverse, one, two, three, reverse one two three four and five reverse and one two three knit and one reverse and again five knit one two three four Five reverse knit knit and knit and reverse we're almost at the end of the row five knit three four and five reverse one two 
three and reverse and the final three mid stitches before the corner stitches here we go with round 39 39 I have to grab some yarn okay I have a larger hook now because my work is and your work is quite large and it is at one loop so the center part is bigger but it's a little bit more difficult to hold it so maybe it's better to just keep the small one and push your work in a little bit but you can decide for yourself of course oh i forget to put on the lights look at this that is better isn't it okay uh, so we did the corner stitches and then we do three knit stitches three knit stitches one reverse two knit stitches one reverse two knit stitches did I take the right one yes I did no I didn't Look what I did. I made a reverse stitch here and I made the knit stitch in the same stitch. So that is not correct. I have a little thing at my nail. What is bothering me? So the knit stitch in the next stitch, the second knit stitch in the next stitch and then a reverse stitch again. So now it's right. After this three knit stitches And after that, again, the repeat of one reverse, two knit, one reverse, two knit, and one reverse. And then after this, three knit stitches. So this is the repeat for this complete row reverse two knit reverse two knit reverse and then three knit stitches and then start again in the next uh, shape so all the way to the end so when you've done the reverse two knit reverse two knit and reverse then we work to the end of the row and that's simple three knit stitches again and then the two corner stitches and then we have finished one side of row 39 okay row 40 40 unbelievable how quick this goes it's quite a large very large tiles or square and i love the feel of it in this uh, yarn it's really great <clears throat> Okay, uh, row 40. We start with one knit stitch and you will see that this row is a bit of um, tossing and turning and one way and the other or the knit and the reverse stitch in a repeat. So it's a knit stitch, a reverse stitch, a knit stitch and the reverse stitch and then Two, uh, two knit stitches and the best way to remember this is uh, when you're in the uh, in this shape uh, the first two stitches are two knit stitches and the last are two knit stitches and all the others are one knit stitch so maybe that's good to remember like this so two knit stitches reverse knit reverse so this is a, a single one then two knit stitches 
I'm sorry, I explain it in English and then I think about the Dutch words. So that's why I sometimes think, oh, how do I say that? <clears throat> but it is, this is what I mean. So two knit stitches, reverse, knit, reverse, again two knit stitches and the reverse. And here in the middle is again one knit stitch. Reverse. And then we are at the start, as the, as, uh, the start of this shape again. So then again two knit stitches. Do you understand what I want to say? I want to make it easier for you, but I realized that in my explanation how I do it in this um, not very good English, it's maybe hard to know what I mean, but when we've done a few, I think you will see uh, what is the meaning in this row. So in the middle, just one knit stitch at the start of the shape, two knit stitches, and at the end two, and all the others are single knit stitches. So that's the way how we uh, continue. <coughs> okay, uh, so we did uh, one knit stitch. Did I do it at the two knit stitches and one reverse stitch? What I did this one, then after that one knit stitch, and again one reverse stitch to start. I don't know the the name of this shape. It's not a triangle. A half of a square, can I say that? I have to Google it. One knit stitch, one reverse stitch, two knit stitches, and the end of the half square, one reverse stitch. On top of this one, one knit stitch, one reverse, and then again, two knit stitches, one reverse, one knit, oh, this one isn't, one knit, one reverse, and to close it, two knit stitches and one reverse. In the middle, one knit stitch, again, one reverse, two knit stitches, one reverse, one knit, one reverse, two knit stitches, one reverse, one knit stitch, one reverse, two knit stitches, one reverse, one knit stitch, one reverse, and two knit stitches, one reverse, one knit, one reverse, two knit, one reverse, one knit, one reverse, two knit, and one reverse. That is the last shape. So the end of the row is one knit, one reverse, and one knit and the corner stitches to close the row. Oh, I hope you could see how it goes in this row. So you'll see me back in row 41. Row 41. It's another day here. So the last few rows of our beautiful sheep square. The sun is shining in Holland, so I hope it's nice at your place too. I have started with the corner stitches and after this there is one reverse stitch, two knit stitches, one reverse stitch and then two knit stitches, and I hope we can find an easy repeat. For this row, a reverse stitch, knit, reverse, knit and reverse. Then after this, two knit stitches. Mimi is arguing, arguing with the neighbor. They are uh, building something at their house and she doesn't like it. So you can hear her 
cough, or cough her sound <laughs> is a bit high and that means that um, well she don't she don't like it and she's a bit uh, un uncomfortable with it uh, okay we've done a reverse stitch and this is the repeat I was uh, talking about so the repeat is actually two knit stitches one repeat one reverse one knit and reverse one knit and one reverse and after that two knit stitches and then a reverse stitch so reverse in the just in the point two knit reverse knit reverse knit reverse two knits and the reverse stitch so this is the repeat we make to the end and then i show you the last bit of this row the last few stitches of the row you see the repeat uh, here the reverse knit reverse knit reverse two knit stitches and the one reverse and then after this we make two knit stitches again one reverse stitch and the two corner stitches to close the row of the side of row 41 so we continue and you see me back in row 42 row 42 <clears throat> we start with the corner stitches and after this one reverse stitch one knit stitch and one reverse stitch this is the start of the row then three knit stitches three knit stitches and after that one reverse let's check this one one reverse one knit i'm sorry this is the wrong one one knit in here and three reverse one knit one reverse and three knits so that is the repeat of this row so after the three knits we make one reverse one knit and three reverse one knit one reverse and three knits and we continue like this till the end so one reverse one knit three reverse one knit one reverse and three knit i hope you have the repeat in your mind now so we continue like this just to the end so the last one three knit one reverse one knit three reverse one knit one reverse and three knits that was the last complete repeat reverse knit and reverse and we are at the end of one side of row 42 43 43 let's see what row 43 will bring us they bring us two corner stitches and then after that three 
reefer stitches one two and three and then knit reverse knit reverse and a knit let's see if i did it right yes a re a knit reverse knit reverse knit it's three knit stitches and two reverse stitches in between and after that we continue with five reverse stitches and then we almost have to repeat the done as the rows are becoming more easy uh, one two three four five reverse stitches and after the five reverse stitches we do knit reverse knit reverse and knit so the only repeat is five reverse knit reverse knit reverse knit so three knit stitches two reverse stitches and then after that again five reverse stitches so this is really an easy row isn't it so please continue like this till the end okay the last part i've done the five reverse stitches so knit reverse knit reverse and knit after that then three reverse stitches and then when you did it right there is the last corner stitch so this is the repeat of row 43 row 44 and actually row 45 i will explain you why because row 44 is the last row where something happens and row 45 is just own and only reverse stitches so um i'll start uh, row 44 to show you what you have to do and you start with two corner stitches and then the repeat well not the repeat yet because we start with five reverse to start the row then we make a knit stitch a reverse and a knit stitch and after this it's only seven reverse stitches one two three four five six and seven and again knit reverse knit so not a very difficult row knit reverse knit seven reverse stitches and knit reverse knit just till the end of the row and then i'll come back i've done the seven reverse stitches so that will be the knit reverse and the knit and to close the row it's five reverse stitches and after that the corner stitches so this is one side of row 44 and uh, so we continue the other three sides of uh, row 44 uh, to finish um, the actual pattern and then when we start with row 45 we start with the normal corner stitches and then after that just and only reverse stitches till the last stitch because every uh, the last stitch is the corner stitches again so 45 corner stitches all reverse stitches and end with the corner with the corner stitches and um well after row 45 it's only the bind off row and i will uh, come back there when i'm there and show you that one and then this square is finished well row 30 no 44 and 45 done when you've come to this point you can be so proud of yourself because uh, it's only the bind off row and then it's done uh, and i've showed you in the other um, two videos as well and i will show you now again how to do the bind off row um we've come to the point one uh, white loop and uh, one uh, brown loops just at the normal end of the row 
and what we do is we make one extra stitch oh i forgot to tell you 45 was the the chart uh, 44 was the chart and 45 was what i told you just the corner stitches and all reverse stitches so i've done that one as well so this is well maybe row 46 the bind of row um what i wanted to tell you uh, miss a loop this was the finish of the row um to start the bind of row you just make one stitch a reverse uh, uh, stitch in the first stitch then you go back to the other side for one more time and you do the back uh, the stitches from from the other side just so you have one white loop and one uh, brown loop uh, and then you can cut off the white yarn so the white yarn is done and when you prefer to uh, do a white uh, bind of row just uh, change colors and continue with the white yarn uh, for the bind of row but uh, I prefer do it with the brown color uh, so the first stitch is already made uh, we've uh, uh, cut off the white yarn so we have only one uh, piece of yarn for the rest of this uh, work we make the second stitch and get it through the first loop so you make a reverse stitch and just continue like this I'll zoom in a reverse stitch and get it through a reverse stitch and get it through reverse so this is how we do the bind of row like this and we do it all the way around just when we finish here and um, I have made a complete video about how to weave in the ends and how to um, uh, make it very uh, neat uh, to, to finish it so please uh, watch that video when you want to see that uh, I've also made a video about joining and in the second uh, square the curly one uh, in the end of it I showed uh, you as well how to join two squares so I think there's enough uh, video material now to uh, see how you have to do that but for now we're finished well I'm almost finished I will show you the the picture when I'm completely done thank you very much for watching the third uh, square I hope you enjoyed making it and I think you can be proud of yourself that you finished uh, another beautiful Tunisian in the round project um, I will uh, start my fourth next week uh, the fourth uh, square and that's a, a very beautiful Norwe Norwegian uh, pattern and um, I will um, uh, deliver that uh, the first of uh, July already so thank you very much have fun uh, and see you next time